Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, or the dog gets it! To set up Pillages the Villages, go to the subreddit, copy the seed. Uh, I'll list the links to everything in the description. So you're copying the number of the seed. Don't forget to put the little minus sign in front, okay? Copy. Now you open up Minecraft, start new world. Call it whatever you want. I'm calling it Pillages the Villages 1 because obviously it's the first session. And I don't want to get confused. Right now it's set to survival as default. Switch it over to hardcore. Now go into the options, hit the control key and the V key at the same time and it'll paste the seed into the box. It's about the only way to do it except hand typing it. There are a number of options as I'm scrolling through to show you. Hit customize, not flat world customize, just customize and hit the customize button. Near the bottom is dungeons and you set your dungeon count to 30 so you have a likelihood of getting more dungeons than are usually generated in a minecraft world you're going to want these for the loot now double check everything make sure your seeds in cheats are off bonus chests are off go back hit the button done button go back and make sure it's set to hardcore and then load the world you're, there's plenty of food around. There's a good village real close by. Uh, there's iron and stuff in the chests. There's a ravine underground. And you're ready to go. That's Pillages the Villages. Well, I accidentally recorded. Well, not accidentally. How about you? I recorded two episodes last week because I was stuck down here because of the cold and running out of food and I wanted to get back to all the people before I stopped playing. So I'm down here named Bobo because I'm looking for gold. I had to write this adjustment in video because I'm on the edge of a ravine. are mostly just to see what kind of interesting statistics and achievements people get. So we're not really competing with each other. We're just um, keeping track of what we've done. So cheating doesn't help you in any way, and except that it just makes it harder to play the game. Because you're not really learning gameplay. You're just learning how to lie to people. So that's not cool. Uh, let's see. So I should have, I think, because I reviewed this video before I started talking to you, I should have with this mining trip plenty of basic resources to get started and then I can start working on the farms. But I had to do this. I mean, I'm dismantling the village for wood and stuff, but I don't want to tear down the buildings just for charcoal. There's trees around. I plant them but there's a lot of junk in the village that isn't going to get used some stuff I'd like to do in the village is set all the doors on the outside and make sure there's no overhangs like you know stair step eaves over the top so they don't get sunlight 
because the doors have to be on the outside of the threshold, not the inside. And you can't have the light obscured by having something, some kind of an overhang in order for villagers to breathe. So probably the next episode, see I'm coming up anyway, the next episode I will probably be attending to the village. One of the things that I completely forgot is that rabbits eat carrots. That's why my carrot farms have empty places in them. I got rabbits all over the place. So I'm probably going to see the, I mean there's already pens there, right? It takes so much to lure some rabbits and pigs into the pens and that's a real good source of high saturation food. I saw cows around too, but I'm worried about the chicken thing because you can't make carrots. So here's a little tour around the village. Just want to make sure there are no zombies about or anything weird going on. See those overhangs? They prevent spawning. I should probably set up a base in the house. What I'm thinking of doing is making like a tunnel that goes from the house to the crafting table do this. Either that or just make more furnaces and put them in the other house. But I don't know which is more of a waste of time, making the extra furnaces or uh, making a enclosure that goes from here to that house right there. Hey, I'm just getting started, you know. I did get the roof mostly off because I don't want skeletons in there during the day and poke me in behind. I should probably take down the slabs too. I don't really need slabs, but it's a place where skeletons can hang out. I also want to fix that well so that whatever goes in the well can get back out of the well, because you know wells, they're a death trap. And what if a villager gets knocked in there or something? Or an animal. I'm going to need all the animals I can get too. Finally, getting to have some food. And I've got extra potatoes to cook. I won't do that up here. I think I did that down in the basement. Did you know furniture is all wood that you can use to burn, to smelt small amounts of things? So, like, if I only had, like, one gold or a couple of iron or something, just use the furniture. I don't care if this village looks good, as long as it functions well, the villagers aren't killed. You know, I have the supplies I need, that sort of stuff. Boy, I'd love to have a donkey or something for this town. Haven't found any dungeons yet. Uh, now, Creek at Creekcraft and Wolfie and Decadence are playing this too. Their experience is already very different than mine. I'm trying to build a border around this without having to make fence fences. Why not just go two blocks high all the way around to protect my garden and I will probably migrate all the carrots to one farm and protect it from bunnies. See? They're, they're pillaging the village. Rabbits. Boy, that one had a lot of carrots in it, man. So I won't be hurting for leather because there's lots of rabbits and I certainly won't be hurting for protein be cool if I found a rabbit's foot. I've never seen a rabbit's foot in here. I also want to, if I can, make rabbit stew. I think that's one of the highest saturation foods in the game. So is uh, mutton stew, and nobody makes it. And it was my idea. I suggested it on the Reddit. I don't remember who asked. It might have been the mod miner asked on the uh, Minecraft Reddit, what kind of stew would you like to see in game? Could have been Toby. I don't remember. Um, and I suggested stews, and I suggested that they didn't even have rabbits anyway, and they were talking about making sheep edible. I'm the one who suggested stews. I also suggested ice cream. Nobody can give me ice cream. Either ice or snow, plus milk, plus egg, plus sugar. I think that would be awesome. working on the
safe and it should be um, easy enough to round up some pigs and um, bunnies. Boy, I sure want chickens. Oh man, I want chickens. Especially if I'm going to the nether, I'm drinking coffee, sorry. If I'm going to the nether, I really, I'm putting these as markers so I know which direction to my mind. It's hard for me to think. You can see that in the last episode, or is it this episode? No, it's later in this episode. I'm going to be chasing monsters. It's hard for me to see where the monsters are. I should use the torch right there. I ran out of torches. I guess I could go back. armor, I have some food on me, and I think that I can probably do some damage down here now. Just get it prepped. I got me a little workstation started with a furnace and chest, and I will, I can't put a crafting table down here, but I will probably have some iron smelt and stuff. You need some gold, just I just have to figure out how to get down there without getting marbleized. Because there's things here that really want me dead. But this ravine goes deep, dude. Uh, in this episode, I'm gonna find Lapis Eater, so I'm already getting down to the 30s again. Haven't checked my F3, and I really need to do that. In a hardcore challenge, when you're going deep in a cave, it makes sense to know. In a ravine, or, well, whatever. It makes sense to know your F3 so you don't waste time and put yourself at additional risk. Mining too high for stuff? I'm not crazy about diamonds except for uh, a pick so I can make an enchanting table. Um, I'm going to need a diamond pick and obviously a diamond for the enchanting table and whatnot. So books shouldn't be hard to come by. I don't know if I found reason. But books should not be hard to come by because there's bunny hide. And I swear there's a cow. I swear there's one more than one. But See, this is not okay. I mean, it's great view of the ravine, but this is not okay. Not on hardcore. Mm. Yeah, do that so you don't fall. Because uh, I don't see. Side cave, there is my lapis. So I'm getting ready for enchanting. I am. I don't do that very often. Or I don't do it very much. I do it pretty much in every Minecraft game I play. But I'm not. Some people are heavy into enchanting. It's gotta be Fortune 3, it's gotta be whatever, you know? Um, I'm barely at the. I need. Pretty much the only thing I use built cut for are weird stuff. I've been lucky on a couple of systems I mine that I have a stuff touch pick and I have a fortune pick and boy that even helps with coal, you know? Because I spent most of my time in dark mine. So when I go down in mine I need to pay off. So those kind of enchantments are very, very helpful. Here's a dead end that's not a dead end. What I always say there are no dead ends.
Bobcat can be reached inside this cave where they're where I'm safe from them. There's there can be as many mobs as there want to be in this cave, but I'm not gonna pester him. Oops, I forgot a torch. Now the reason I'm sealing it off there is I see gravel right here. Gravel always leads to something. And I need to dig that gravel out. To see what's under it. Or behind it or whatever. Getting ready to make this less skeleton-y. Oh, you know what I mean. And yesterday I got a good sale on chicken breast and a really good sale on nice tart like pie apple with apples that aren't very sweet for cooking and use sweet apples for just eating raw. I cooked up those pie apples with um, cinnamon and ginger. No sugar. First I cooked the chicken and then I cooked the pie apples in the chicken juice. Oh my gosh. So this morning I had cold pie apples and a piece of cold chicken for breakfast. Oh, it was wonderful. I went grocery shopping yesterday. I did really well. We even got this, uh, if you've ever had it, tiramisu, it's an Italian recipe, it's a very creamy dessert, uh, an ice cream company has made what they call tiramisu gelato, gelato is a sweet, weak, rich, creamy Italian frozen dessert, it's really cream, not cake milk, not low fat milk, it's really, really cream, and they made it mocha, and it's lots of toffee in it. Well, they had them. They, they were less expensive than ice cream. And I opened one of them in the store and got the sweet milk and I was like, oh. So they had seven of them. There was two cases a piece and the not very good generic ice cream was three dollars a piece. So I got every one they had came home and crammed them in this freaking chart. There's so much cream. It's stuff I could never afford to Really good apples, and oh my gosh, and that wonderful tiramisu mocha. So it'll last me for months and months and months. It's high quality stuff at a really inexpensive rate. And I probably eat better quality and healthier food than just about anybody I know who's low income. I only have $3 a day to spend on food, so I have to be really careful. And that ice cream will last me probably until summer. Of course, I was a total pig in the grocery store. I ate half a tub of it. <laughs> Quart of ice cream. Oh my gosh. It was really good. It was really, really good. But I haven't eaten but a couple of spoonfuls since. So I'm pretty happy with my little mining setup. It's nice and low. I would like to put stairs here, though, so I don't have to hop up and down when I'm hungry. I have a mining operation fairly down low in the ravine that's available to explore. I came up a little early, so it's going to be a while until I make the fence. And I'm thinking, well, this is crazy. I'm on the surface at night, and cooties have spawned here because I haven't been far from this area. But I thought it would do a little bit why do I have my um, sword in my hand? I'm whacking skeletons with a sword. Really? I don't know. Pretty rabbit. They call them the rabbits because they don't want to have a That's when they jump at you. That rabbit's ass going to be killed and I won't do it. I'm ignoring that creeper hoping it'll get away from my farm. In fact, I'm trying to lead it out of the garden. Yep. I couldn't hit it that far away, and it still stayed agitated. Okay. Well, that's something about creepers. I should have backed up. Get that spider out of the garden so I don't whack my vegetables. Saving up for a bow, but man. Find a skeleton farm. Don't want the witch. 
unless I find a skeleton mob farm thing in the dungeon. I don't know how I'm gonna get arrows. I don't see any chickens anywhere. That's the thing when you have some kinds of passive mobs, they fill up the um, mob cap for passives too. It's very depressing when you're trying to play and find the cows to eat because, like in Minecraft, they go, so you need to make a book or you need a bucket of milk and every, or you need chickens for feathers to make a written book or whatever for Minecraft, they go, and there are no uh, one of the animals you want, all there is sheep. Once in a while, you get to make a picture frame in Minecraft Bingo, but mostly all sheep are good for is food. This person. That's another good reason to get rid of the little game. Can you see that door? Uh, not the bottom of the door. Over the top. So getting rid of the eaves doesn't. Uh, and I should put a torch in here. The truth is, there's a poor little villager in here in the dark. Um. So I should get rid of those overhangs so that mobs won't hide from the... Throw your spoon. So mobs won't hide from the sun right around the house. That's not a plan. So I have food. Thanks for watching. I'd hug you, but my arms don't bend. Bye. Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and adore. Get it.